The outer planets, also known as the gas giants, are a group of four planets located beyond the asteroid belt in our solar system. These planets include Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. While all of these planets share similarities, there are also significant differences between them. One of the most significant differences is the temperature of Uranus compared to Neptune. Despite being farther from the Sun, Neptune is warmer than Uranus. This question has puzzled astronomers for decades, and in this video, we will be delving into the science behind this phenomenon and exploring the unique characteristics of these two gas giants. Join us on this fascinating journey as we discover the secrets of our solar system's outer reaches. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more exciting space-related content. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun, located approximately 1.8 billion miles away. It is the third largest planet in our solar system and the smallest of the gas giants. Uranus has a unique tilt, with its rotational axis almost parallel to the plane of its orbit around the Sun. This means that the planet's poles are in constant sunlight or darkness for long periods, leading to extreme seasonal changes. One of the most intriguing features of Uranus is its blue-green color, which comes from the methane in its upper atmosphere. The planet has a layered atmosphere, with hydrogen and helium gas making up the outer layer in water, ammonia, and methane ice forming the lower layer. Despite being the third largest planet, Uranus has the coldest atmosphere of any planet in our solar system, with temperatures averaging around minus 357 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet also has the lowest internal heat of any of the gas giants. But why is Uranus so cold? The answer lies in the composition of its atmosphere. Uranus has a higher proportion of methane in its atmosphere than Neptune, which traps more of the sun's heat and makes it harder for the planet to generate internal heat radiation. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun and the fourth largest planet in our solar system. It is located approximately 2.8 billion miles away and takes almost 165 Earth years to orbit the Sun. Like Uranus, Neptune is composed mainly of ice, including water, ammonia, and methane. One of the most striking features of Neptune is its blue color, which comes from the methane in its upper atmosphere. The planet has a thick atmosphere, with hydrogen and helium gas making up the outer layer and ice forming the lower layer. Despite being farther from the Sun than Uranus, Neptune is warmer, with temperatures averaging around minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet also has higher internal heat than Uranus, which is believed to come from the release of gravitational energy as the planet slowly cools. Neptune is also known for its strong winds, with some gusts reaching up to 1,200 miles per hour. The planet's great dark spot is a massive storm system similar to Jupiter's great red spot but it appears to have dissipated in recent years. When most people think of the coldest planet in our solar system, they often assume it's Pluto or Neptune. However, the reality is that Neptune is indeed the coldest planet of the two, but not colder than Uranus. So, why is Neptune so cold compared to the other gas giants in our solar system? The answer lies in several factors, including its distance from the Sun, its internal structure, and its atmosphere. First, it's essential to understand Neptune's distance from the Sun. The farther a planet is from the Sun, the colder it will be. Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun, located around 4.5 billion kilometers away, making it the farthest planet in our solar system. Being so far from the Sun means that Neptune only receives 1 slash 900th of the sunlight that Earth does. This lack of solar radiation is the primary reason why Neptune is so cold. But the distance from the Sun isn't the only factor that contributes to Neptune's frigid temperature. The planet's internal structure plays a role as well. Like the other gas giants in our solar system, Neptune has a thick atmosphere that surrounds a relatively small rocky core. The atmosphere is composed mainly of hydrogen, helium, and methane gas, which trap and retain heat. 
However, Neptune's atmosphere is much colder than those of the other gas giants. This colder temperature is due to the composition of the methane gas in Neptune's atmosphere. The methane gas absorbs the sun's heat and radiation, preventing it from penetrating deeper into the planet's atmosphere. Instead, it bounces off the top of the atmosphere, trapping the heat closer to the planet's surface. This process is known as the greenhouse effect. Although the greenhouse effect helps keep Earth warm, it has the opposite effect on Neptune, trapping the cold air and making it even colder. Additionally, Neptune's atmosphere is subject to extreme weather conditions that contribute to its low temperature. The planet has a strong magnetic field that causes violent storms, such as the Great Dark Spot, which is a large storm similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. These storms churn up the atmosphere, causing it to circulate and cool rapidly. Furthermore, Neptune's tilt also plays a role in its frigid temperature. The planet is tilted at an angle of 28.8 degrees, causing it to experience extreme seasonal variations. During the winter months, the planet's northern hemisphere is pointed away from the sun, making it much colder than the southern hemisphere. The temperature difference between the two hemispheres can be as much as 50 degrees Celsius. In conclusion, Neptune is the coldest planet in our solar system due to its distance from the sun, its internal structure, and its atmosphere. The planet's methane-rich atmosphere traps eat close to its surface, causing the greenhouse effect to have the opposite effect. Neptune's violent weather conditions and extreme seasonal variations also contribute to its frigid temperature. Despite its icy temperatures, Neptune remains an enigmatic and intriguing planet that scientists continue to study to gain a better understanding of our solar system. When we think of the cold planets in our solar system, Neptune usually comes to mind as the coldest. However, Uranus, which is farther away from the Sun and receives less sunlight, is colder than Neptune. This may seem counterintuitive at first, but several factors contribute to this phenomenon. The first factor is the internal heat of the planet. While both Uranus and Neptune are composed mainly of hydrogen and helium gases, Uranus has a smaller core and therefore has less internal heat. The heat generated by the planet's core can help to offset some of the cooling effects of distance from the Sun. In contrast, Neptune has a larger core and more internal heat, which helps to keep it warmer than Uranus. Another factor that contributes to the colder temperature of Uranus is its atmosphere. Uranus has a much thicker atmosphere than Neptune, which can trap heat and prevent it from escaping into space. However, Uranus' atmosphere is composed mainly of methane, which absorbs sunlight and reflects very little of it into space. This means that while Uranus' atmosphere can trap some heat, it is not very efficient at absorbing sunlight and warming the planet. In contrast, Neptune's atmosphere is much thinner and composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. These gases are much more efficient at absorbing sunlight and warming the planet. Additionally, Neptune's atmosphere contains a higher percentage of methane, which absorbs more sunlight than Uranus' atmosphere. This means that even though Neptune is farther away from the Sun, it receives more heat from the Sun and is therefore warmer than Uranus. The last factor to consider is the tilt of the planet's axis. Both Uranus and Neptune have highly tilted axes, which means that their seasons are much more extreme than those of other planets in the solar system. Uranus has an extreme tilt of 98 degrees, which means that its poles are almost in the plane of its orbit around the Sun. This means that the planet's poles receive much less sunlight than its equator, making them colder than the rest of the planet. In contrast, Neptune has a tilt of 28 degrees, which is much less extreme than Uranus's tilt. This means that the seasons on Neptune are not as extreme as those on Uranus, and the planet's temperature is more evenly distributed across its surface. In conclusion, while Uranus is closer to the Sun than Neptune, it is colder due to several factors. Its smaller core means it has less internal heat to offset the cooling effects of distance from the Sun. Its thick atmosphere traps some heat but is not efficient at absorbing sunlight. Additionally, its extreme tilt means that its poles receive much less sunlight than the rest of the planet. These factors combine to make Uranus the coldest planet in our solar system, despite its closer proximity to the Sun compared to Neptune. We hope you have enjoyed learning about these fascinating worlds and the mysteries they hold. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Also, 
Feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions about Uranus, Neptune, or any other outer planet. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching.